Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week you can see I'm going to be talking about this wonderful resource that's actually been around for a very long time called Boland Maths. So if you're interested in having a look at this wonderful resource, then please keep on watching. So the other day I was walking up the peak with my dear friend Martin and he reminded me of this wonderful resource from the University of Nottingham, uh, Boland Maths, which has been around for a very long time. So let me just move myself out of the way. I've actually clicked on classroom projects and you can see there's a lot of classroom projects here on the left. And I thought that we would just explore how risky life is. So you can see that there's an overview, you can have a look at the mathematical content here. So key stage three basically is year seven, eight, nine, or grade six, seven, eight, if you are in the US system. And let's just have a look at the full teacher guide so that we can see what this project's about. So all the resources are made available, as you can see on every single project. And I'm just gonna try and scroll down a little bit here. So let's just scroll down a little bit. It's from the Shell Center for Mathematical Education, University of Nottingham. And you can see that this case study was designed by two people. Malcolm Swan, the late great Malcolm Swan, actually developed so many beautiful collaborative mathematics learning experiences and really encouraged, I think, joy in the mathematics classroom. So if we scroll down here, let's just have a look at the actual task. So you've got really a comprehensive 42 page <laughs> explanation, but let's just have a look. If we go through, there's an introduction. So we're actually looking at something that affects people's lives. Uh, their liberties, their happiness, and the mismatch between real and perceived risk. So there's quite detailed explanation here, the mathematical content in terms of number and algebra and statistics. And I love how the different mathematical areas have been interconnected. I think statistics and data handling actually can be incorporated into every single unit because it's so important that we know how to interpret data, handle data, organize data and display data, and then try and draw some conclusions from data. And then you can see the section on organization and pedagogy as well, the different resources, the software as an example, and then looking at different stages of learning here. So the first stage, exploring our perceptions of risk, and that's the same as engaging in prior understanding and knowledge with our students. And then stage two, discovering the facts and exploring some data. Uh, in the beginning, pupils are actually given data from 2005 and the three causes, and then students actually analyze the data that's been given. And then we have sessions three and four, which really is more exploration about how risky life is and do these estimates apply to me? So I won't go through the whole 42 page resource, but it really is a treasure trove here. Uh, I'd like to go back to Boland Maths so that you can see where to find these. Just moving myself out of the way. If we go, actually, let me just refresh this page just to Boland Maths. Uh, or let me just go to the home page and you can see there's assessment tasks, classroom projects and professional development. So I clicked on classroom projects. So if you scroll down here on classroom project, you can see all the different classroom projects with really detailed guidance for students and teachers. I think this is a absolutely wonderful resource. If you use it, please let me know how you use it. I hope that you found this resource and this video useful. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time. Bye.